This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. What role did Linda McMahon play in the WWE in 2001 to the best of your recollection? Oh, she was uh, certainly one of the voices, uh, official voices in a high up place that the media could, uh, could uh, communicate with. I mean, she, she was a number two in the company, so she did a lot of things, but she was a great representative. Uh, her demeanor was good. It was calming. It was informed. She's educated. Um, so she did a lot of things, but uh, she certainly was deeply involved in the, in the communication aspect, as you alluded to earlier, uh, with uh, Gary Davis and the, of the media team. So she was very valuable, to, especially uh, during that crisis. I wanted to also bring up um, you doing commentary with Paul actually makes the observer quote Ross and Heyman work together well, but there are so many underlying issues between those two dating back forever. Plus there's the feeling of many that Lawler was a better foil for Ross. Of course, we've covered the whole Lawler thing. He's taking a break and defending his, uh, his wife. Um, right. She was released. So Paul Heyman comes in certainly a different vibe and chemistry between the two of you more combative he would challenge you more and you would do it back mm -hmm. uh, but it's written here so many underlying issues I don't this, that. that's what i wanted to ask like to me uh, that wasn't apparent now i understand that there's different styles and maybe he you've shared before that maybe paul wanted to prep a little more and you say this and i'll say that but with king yeah. it was just organic chemistry right. but it's almost insinuated that maybe there was I don't know, for lack of a better word, residual heat from the old NWA or WCW days. But what say well, you to that? Well, it's not true. I mean, it's just opinion. It's somebody taking second or third hand information and then trying to put two and two together and it equals five. So, but there was no, uh, Paul and I are friends this very day. Have we had our uh, philosophical debates? Absolutely. But it seems like that's become an issue in the, in the wrestling world that Conrad, if I don't agree with you, then I don't like you. And so I'm saying you don't have a right to your opinion, Conrad. You know, nobody gives a shit about your opinion. That's what you're basically saying. And that's right. just not right. So, uh, but Paul and I, we've had, we had philosophical debates. He wanted to be very structured. He wanted to get his stuff in. He wanted to be able to deliver those, those toxic punchlines, you know, as a heel. He's very, very talented, as we all see every week. We watch his work. Uh, but no, I, I think that's always been mis, uh, been overstated. You know, I'm the guy that put him on television at WCW. You know, I, I, it was me that said, I want him to be my partner. Because I'd gone through so many other partners, and for one reason or the other, they were, you know, unavailable, or they just didn't want to do the work, or whatever the case may be. But, uh, you know, Paul and I were, I thought we had some strong outings in WCW back in the day. But, you know, there's just nothing to that. Have we, did we argue sometimes? Yeah. He's high strung and so am I, if you haven't noticed. But God damn, it doesn't mean that we can't coexist just simply because we don't agree on, on certain things. And he's a, he's a New Yorker and I'm an Okie. What else do you need to say? We're going to have differences of opinion and philosophies, lifestyles and all those things. But when the light came on, I thought we delivered the goods pretty damn well. But uh, I think that's a misstatement, Conrad. I think that's a, it's a good question, uh, but just not anything of significance to it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.